It seems every week or so lately there's a new story coming out related to Mr. Beast that's getting himself into more controversy. Most recently, the Lunchly stuff that involved even KSI, Logan Paul, they were getting relentlessly shit on by everybody. Then we had the lawsuit coming out of five contestants coming out and suing Mr. Beast for his misconduct. And now, even though we're months into this story at this point, I feel like this is the biggest allegation yet. Some guy came forward named Troy Manning saying that his girlfriend was raped on set of the Beast Games, and now Las Vegas production workers as well are saying that he should be blacklisted from the industry for his misconduct and irresponsible ways of conducting the Beast Games. But I made a video covering already the Lunchly stuff in addition to the lawsuit, so you can go to those videos if you want to check out that. But in regards to this new stuff, so this Troy Manning guy makes this Instagram story where if you're wondering who Troy Manning is, he's uh, kind of nobody of note. Just seems to be a smaller guy occasionally posting on social media. He's got 200 followers on TikTok. He posts every here and there on his website it says that he's a documentary cinematographer and he's got 3k followers on Instagram but he put out this Instagram story saying my girlfriend was raped on set of the Mr. Beast show during construction while filmed BTS with onlookers any journalist friends out there that can lend a hand shining a light on this production let it happen and stopped me from intervening i'm the only one who alerted police and then he puts his phone number for what i assume for journalists to reach out to him but the picture i'm envisioning from the way this guy is describing it is that he like saw his girlfriend being like taken advantage of and he was like trying to like intervene and get in there while people were holding him back or something well i guess production workers were fine and letting this happen and and I guess some were even watching, this is a huge allegation if this ends up being true. Because with a situation like this, it paints this picture that not only is there one bad apple, like this one crazy guy who did this insane thing, you know what I mean? But there's other people and there seems to be this culture that will allow this to happen and they see it happening and they're fine with it. He says he reached out to the police. I wonder how recent this was. What was the police follow-up? Because apparently there was witnesses and everything. Apparently it sounds like, was he the witness too? So apparently he has been in contact with some journalists so we'll be getting more details on the story soon. But an important thing to note as well though, below this Reddit post when I saw it, there was an update saying, the person who supposedly accused Mr. Beast's crew of his girlfriend did not mean to accuse them in particular, rather the company they hired to build a set. Okay, so someone got in contact with the Troy and a few things were found out. One, it wasn't Mr. Beast's crew, rather a company him and BTS hired to build a set named Canadian Production. Two, he has gotten in contact with a journalist. Three, he wants the post to go down to avoid any more phone calls from some randos on the internet. I have went and got in contact with Troy himself and they did basically say the same thing. Here's a screenshot from the Reddit who went and asked Troy themselves, asked if they want credit, they haven't responded yet, we'll edit when it's confirmed. They also asked not to share the text messages right now, but like, they are explicitly not blaming Mr. Beast in the text messages. So that's interesting. Apparently from the communications people have been having with Troy, he doesn't actually put a lot of the blame on Mr. Beast himself for this incident happening. Which yeah, of course, if Mr. Beast just ended up hiring some people named Canadian Production to put together a set for him, and it ends up this Canadian Production guys ended up being unhinged and committed fucking crimes on set. He's not responsible for that. It is a PR nightmare, especially with everything else coming out against Mr. Beast, saying that he's not running appropriate background checks, saying he's irresponsibly running the Beast games with not the correct responsible precautions. So from that aspect, it looks really, really bad on Mr. Beast. But yeah, just to confirm, it's not his crew, it was someone that he hired. Another huge thing that happened too, though, is that Las Vegas Beast Games staff said they want Mr. Beast blacklisted over health and safety concerns. Staff that worked on Mr. Beast's Beast Games game show in Las Vegas are calling it the the most unprofessional production they've ever been a part of, claiming they wouldn't be surprised if Mr. Beast was blacklisted from producing large projects in the future. Dude, this guy cannot catch a break. From all angles, he's getting it every single day. Like, you know, of course, Keep in mind and take with a grain of salt, it is a very opportune time and it is a very easy time to shit on Mr. Beast publicly. So it could just be the case that a lot of people are just hopping on the social dog pile to be getting at Mr. Beast lately. But fuck man, there is like a ridiculous amount of people coming out with allegations or coming out with statements of misconduct that Mr. Beast is engaging in. Specifically, what this discourse has now transitioned into is the Beast Games and how he's completely mishandling it. So on September 26th, Las Vegas 3 News shared an 
interview with local production workers and other anonymous staff that called for Mr. Beast to be blacklisted and slammed the unprofessional production. One production worker, Rick, claimed that it was obvious Mr. Beast's team had never worked on something as large as the Beast Games production, describing it as beyond embarrassing. So these people are going on record too with their full names and everything. These aren't like anonymous stories or whatever. They're 100% comfortable in saying this publicly with their name attached. And shared, you wouldn't be surprised that they were blacklisted from the industry. It was by far the most unprofessional production I've ever been a part of, claimed Rick before slamming the terrible communication on set. Three News spoke with a handful of employees from the Las Vegas filming and learned that the lack of communication affected nearly everybody on the set, including medics who were tasked with confiscating and monitoring medication required by the contestants. One medic, Mona, claimed the group was stationed at the Rio and Luxor casinos, only to find out that some people were placed in other casinos nearby. Those contestants reportedly had their items collected by production staff that promised to deliver them to the appropriate department. Their stuff was supposed to be turned into us and never was, Mona told 3 News. There was no communication, everything was on the fly. We didn't have a real understanding of what they expected, or even they knew what they were expecting. I don't think that it was planned out because all the information was not given. The publication also spoke with contestants Wranglers, Kara and Hannah, who slammed the production after various incidents took place. Kara explained that one guy approached her team with his sleeping bag in tow, and it was reportedly covered in excrement from cleaning a porta potty. Kara alleged that a Mr. Beast producer ordered an unnamed Wrangler to clean the mess and reportedly threatened termination after they expressed reluctance. That's a major OSHA violation, she said. You don't ask people to clean the porta potties like that. Jesus. Kara went on to blast the production, calling it unprepared. She said, I've never done a production that was so unprepared. No systems in place for anything. Impossible to get an answer out of everyone. Hannah, on the other hand, said that one contestant had a seizure and was allegedly left without medical attention for almost an hour. Dude. It is over. It is like it's been a month. It has been like a month and Mr. Beast There's just like story after story after fucking story. Just how is this guy gonna be able to respond to all of this? This is a nightmare and you know, Mr. Beast will always have a platform He'll always have like a huge multi-million dollar business and YouTube channel always running and for the most part I think he'll always be successful But the problem is is when you get allegations like this coming left right and center lawsuits coming out People talking about seizures being left unmedicated or left without attention you lose sponsorships. You lose like mainstream big attention from people like Amazon, like who he's working with or other big corporations he might want to work in the future. I, I think that's the biggest risk that comes from Mr. Beast at this point because clearly he's trying to expand bigger. That's why he's doing this whole Beast game stuff. He's trying to expand from just doing the YouTube stuff. And I genuinely wonder by like the end of this year or moving forward in like a year's time, how much will he be able to maintain with his business connections that are in the industry? How much will this meaningfully impact him in the long run? Mr. Beast is not responsible to any of the allegations against him from Beast Game staff and contestants admit the ongoing lawsuits. So yeah, also on top of this too, he's getting sued. So when you're getting sued, you don't want to say anything to the public because it'll be used against you to hold you accountable in a court of law. So he's fucked too. If he even wanted to respond lately, he's now caught in this trap of literally not being able to say anything because it won't benefit him. The guy's fucked from all angles, but it'll be interesting to see the more details about this Troy Manning thing specifically. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the Mr. Beast update. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more updates covered on the channel, this is the channel to do so. Daily slop content. Be sure to subscribe and like for more, but I'll see you tomorrow.